future women's champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what it is.
That's why I went here. But I, I kind of didn't see it. Yeah, that was it. I was only in one. Only in one. Yeah, only in one.
you watch that? <laughs> hey guys, Brian here, and what a clutch win by Kai! Point zero one seconds, man. That's as close as he can get, and every millisecond counts. Every second counts, and just uh, Kai pulled it off there at the end. That is not easy to do and you know even that one second that your opponent takes to think of a move that counts right it all kind of accumulates there at the end and kudos to Kai too because I think in this game he had the advantage and he never let go which is very very rare in a game right so beautifully done that that is that is not easy to do and and um that especially against a great player like Megan so nicely done Kai if you guys want to get him coffee for that beautiful clutch when his link is in the video description and Megan, man, she played well too here. I think it was all came down to a game of inches, and there were some opportunities for her to uh, kind of equalize. And she did equalize, I think, in the game, but um, couldn't kind of grind it out. So uh, I just want to highlight some positions here real quick. So in the game, we had G3, it's going to move back. Uh, there was an opportunity for White here that was missed, and it is, remember, it's all about the inches, right? Yes, Queen takes D5. That was missed, but Kai did... Um, take it about three moves later so in this position i think in the game megan played king g7 and now he took and once this pawn drops everything starts falling apart right so going back here uh maybe just queen e6 to defend and this could be one continuation the game is dead even at point two so but i, I remember in the beginning right there was that huge missed opportunity for white where the where the music kind of synced to it. That, that was pretty cool so in the game you see look at this eva bar boom 5.8 and in the game H3 was played, let's go move back. I think if you look back at the video, you can see that Megan uh, realized the mistake and looked at Kai to see if he could find it, but he didn't. So, uh, pause the video. Can you guys find the move for white here? By the way, Megan played a hell of a game too. I mean, the time differential like toward the end was pretty big, but she was an absolute gamer, man. And she closed that gap real quick down to point zero one. So that was really, really cool to see. Yes. All right. If you guys found 95, congrats. It's kind of like a double attack here. Fork and um, if you move the queen, then, you know, take, 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 and you're going to win a piece. So let's play, let's play spicy. Take, 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 and... This could be one continuation, and White is winning at 6.0. But I'll start off with Knight e5. So, whew, there it is, man. What an absolute, as close as it can get. And Kai can now say that he beat Megan, right? If, if I, I'm pretty sure Megan will become U.S. Women's Champ, so Kai can be like, yeah, I beat Women's Champ. But you don't have to say what age you beat her at, just that you beat her. So that's what they say when uh, the saying goes, you got to beat these kids when they're young. But but Megan played really great, very gamer, very clutch, and just came down to that point zero one seconds. Wow. Nicely done, Kai. Great fight, Megan. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you thought the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.